What if I told you that you could have a ready to eat, delicious and healthy breakfast that feels like an absolute treat? And I'm not talking about sugary cereals or pastries, I'm talking about overnight oats. So in this video, I wanna show you three amazing recipes that I eat very regularly. They're packed with fiber, packed with protein, and absolutely packed with flavor. For the full ingredient list, check the description box below, but enough talking about these oats, let's get cooking. For oats, we're gonna use our extra thick rolled oats. The extra thick are the perfect oats for overnight oats. The instant get way too mushy. And then we're gonna use some chia seeds. We'll put about a tablespoon in there. And this is gonna be the base for all three. First, let's start off with our tropical. Each one of these, I add some whey protein to bump the protein up, add on flavor. So for this, we're gonna to go to go with a base of vanilla and I'm using Vitamin Shops True Athlete. This is just the ones that I've been using for years. And here, I'm gonna put a tablespoon of some shredded coconut and some macadamia nuts. I couldn't find the pre-chopped ones, so we're gonna give these a rough chop. The nuts add a really nice crunchy texture to these overnight oats. Without the nuts, it can be feel a little mushy. We're also gonna put in a little coconut flavor, so just a little bit. Now with the water, it's really hard to figure out what's the exact amount of water to add, so how I like to do it is add it a little bit at a time, and I'm gonna keep putting in a little bit of water and stirring with this butter knife. The butter knife is really nice because you can scrape the edges of the jar and you can get the bottom. And we're just gonna keep mixing until we get the consistency of runny cement. Once there's enough water in there, we're gonna give it a little bit of a faster mix to dissolve all that protein powder. And we're gonna scrape off the knife, anything that gets stuck on there. And then we're gonna push that to the bottom. Now we're gonna add a little bit of crushed pineapple. I've already drained the juice out of it. And this is some low cow Greek yogurt. This is the key lime flavor from Chobani. Each one of these gets topped off with some frozen fruit. So here we're going to use some frozen strawberries and some frozen mango to pair off with the crushed pineapple that we put in there. We're going to cut these up into little chunks. I find that if you cut it into little tiny chunks, it defrosts really nicely and mixes really well and eats with a spoon really nicely. If the chunks are too big, it's going to be really hard and, and messy and clunky to eat. So once these are cut up into little tiny pieces, we're going to take them and we're just going to pile them on top. We're going to screw on the lid and we're going to set this aside and we're off to our next flavor. So this is the lemon blueberry or blueberry lemon, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to start off with that same base of three scoops of this vanilla protein powder for a total of about 30 grams. Now we're going to put in a quarter teaspoon of some turmeric for the yellow color. This stuff's also healthy too. For nuts here, we're going to throw in pistachios. We don't have to chop them because they're small enough. And then we're going to drip this lemon flavor in there and all over the table. So same deal as before with the butter knife. We're going to mix in a little bit of water at a time until we get that runny cement consistency. Once we see that we've added enough water, we're gonna give it a nice mix and thoroughly dissolve all that protein powder in there. That seems to be good. And then we're gonna do the same knife scrape. Stuff always sticks to the knife. These chia seeds are so sticky. And for here, we're gonna use uh, Chobani's low cow blueberry yogurt. I usually put about half of a single serving container in there. And now for fruit here, we're just gonna go with some frozen blueberries. We don't gotta chop them because blueberries are small enough. We're gonna screw the top on this one. We're gonna also set that one aside and onto my absolute favorite, the cherry chocolate almond. So we got our base of chia and oats, and now we're gonna go with the chocolate protein powder. I'm gonna add three scoops, 30 grams of protein. Now I'm gonna add a tablespoon of some unsweetened cacao nibs and another tablespoon of some slivered almonds. For flavor, we're gonna put a little almond extract in there and do the same thing with the water. Almond and cherry and chocolate go together so well. This is one of my absolute favorites. Once I even put the extract in there, just mixing this, it smells absolutely fantastic. Once this is all mixed up, we're gonna to start to add some of our bonus ingredients. Here, we're gonna add some almond butter. I find that this goes absolutely amazing. But this is a brand new jar. Gotta make sure, gotta stir all that oil in. And we're gonna put one tablespoon right in there. For yogurt, we're gonna use Chobani's Locale Cherry Yogurt. The cherry yogurt really pairs nicely with the flavor of the cherries that we're gonna put in. And this is probably one of my absolute favorite frozen fruits. These things are so good and so delicious. They remind me of the cherries that are inside like cherry ice cream. So I'm just gonna slice these in half, maybe some into a quarter. And we're gonna take these frozen cherries and we're gonna put them right on top. I absolutely love these and anything extra I'm gonna be snacking on.
now that all of our oats are ready to go, we're going to take all three and we're going to put them in the fridge overnight. I find that they can usually last for about two or three days. So this is what might going to be my breakfast for the next three days. And it's really simple. You just throw them in there, wait 24 hours. Next day, everything is good, delicious, and ready to go. The look on my face says it all. I'm absolutely excited to try each one of these. I am super excited to try this, even though I eat this for breakfast almost every single day. Let's start off with the tropical one. These are really fun to eat because when you open them up, you get to mix them all together before you eat them. So opening this up, you can see that the fruit on the top has fully defrosted. Uh, frozen fruit leaves this like really nice, like sweet fruit juice that kind of like leaks out of like the frozen fruit as it defrosts. Um, now we're gonna mix it up and we're gonna get everything from the bottom to the top and the yogurt in the middle and the fruit on the bottom. A lot of the oats and the, uh, the chia, they settle down to the bottom. So you gotta scoop them up. So we're giving it a nice rough mix right here. So now in our first spoonful, we'll get a little bit of everything on there. So some of the fruit, the nuts, the chia, the oats, the, the yogurt. Mm. This tastes like we went to breakfast on a Caribbean island and they gave us a beautiful like yogurt parfait. It's hard to believe that all this stuff is healthy, doesn't have any added sugar or anything. And it's all just fruit, oats, chia, yogurt, super good. Mm. The coconut and the pineapple pair so awesome tastes like a pina colada probably want some booze in here too mm. that was absolutely fantastic let's try the lemon blueberry or blueberry lemon so on this one you can see that the turmeric really gives off that super yellow color without having to add any artificial dyes or colors uh, turmeric's also super healthy too so double bonus and it's only a little bit you really don't taste it as we open it up, you can see that the blueberries also defrosted. They're like almost the same blueberries that you see like in a blueberry pie where they're, they're not fresh blueberries, but they got like a softer, sweeter tone to them. So we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna give this a big mix. Getting all those oats and the chia from the bottom and also giving the yogurt a little bit of a mix. Mm. So now in this first spoonful, little yogurt, blueberries, oats, I absolutely adore lemon flavored anything. So this just sings to me. It tastes so good. Blueberry and lemon go together so well. Mm. It tastes fresh. It tastes light. Mm. And pistachio and lemon pair up so nicely. I love all desserts that have pistachio and lemon in them. So that's why I put the pistachios in there. I thought it had a nice crunch. It also pairs off with the lemons really nicely. This is absolutely outstanding. And now for my absolute favorite, the cherry chocolate almond. Every time I eat this, I feel like I'm eating an indulgent dessert and it's totally not. It's basically the same stuff that's inside the other things, but chocolate cherry and almond go together so well, especially the frozen cherries. So just like the blueberries, you can see that the cherries have all defrosted. There's that little bit of a pink tone because they're giving off their, their delicious, wonderful cherry juice. Let's give this a mix, get that almond butter that's at the bottom and the cherry yogurt that's in there. Mm. Okay, here we go. That is just so darn good. It tastes like I'm eating really like dessert. I thought the blueberry lemon uh, tasted like dessert. This is absolutely unbelievable. Super chocolatey, creamy. It's got crunch to it. It's got sweetness. This is hitting on all the notes. Mm. Not to mention how delicious and tasty these are. All of these are low cal, high in fiber, packed with protein. They're absolutely unbelievable. So if you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. And if you wanna watch uh, another breakfast video and you're not into the healthy stuff, check out my French toast and my buttermilk pancakes. I'll see you there.